What's up, co cool reporters? Welcome back to my channel. Listen, I saw a story that was rather funny and I decided I really wanted to share it with you guys. So Kim Kardashian, or should I say Kim Kardashian, <laughs> was caught coming out of a plastic surgeon's office in Beverly Hills, which I just feel like, girl, like you are so damn beautiful. What are you doing at this point? What else is there to be nipped and tucked? So here are some of the photos published by the sun.com. As you can see, Kim is actually going into this clinic without any makeup. And she looks like that. Like, how do you look like that without makeup and then still think that you need to go to the plastic surgeon's office? You know, it's just so damn much. So as you can see, she's trying to cover her face because she was not expecting for the paparazzi to be there. Which, listen, if she was really about that life, she would pull a Giselle Bunchen. Remember when Giselle Bunchen went to the plastic surgery the surgeon's office completely covered up? I think she was wearing a kneecap or something like that. Like she was like, I am absolutely not going to be spotted here. But Kim goes with like her brightest Louis Vuitton uh, speedy bag, like in silver, metallic, flashy, flashy, flashy. Um, so that's kind of random, right? For this type of a, a discreet visit. Though she, I will give her props and credit for wearing the hoodie, but like this is not gonna hide your face at all, sweet cheeks. Anyway, the plastic surgeon is named Dr. Diamond and he seems to be rather popular with um, a couple of celebrity clients and whatnot. So that doesn't surprise me, but I, I thought that her typical surgeon and she does promos with this surgeon uh, is Dr. Gavami. So it was quite interesting to see her at another surgeon's office this time with a friend. If any of you know who this friend is wearing the mask, please do let me know. Like I said, Kim, your face is so nice. You know, she's had many iterations of her face and each one has been very beautiful. And I think we've gone from like her original uh, face when she start, first started getting like light tweaks. I thought she looked so beautiful and she still looks so ethnic and just really, you know, and then now she stripped so much of that off that she kind of looks almost like a cyborg a lot of the time, especially when she's wearing those like body suits and just the hair slicked back. Everything is so harsh. It's beautiful, but not in a human way. Right. So I do hope that she kind of like stops at a certain point or like slows down. I will say, though, that just because she's at a plastic surgeon's office it doesn't mean that she was doing a consultation or a procedure for plastic surgery necessarily. Right. Because at a, a plastic surgeon's office, you can also get different sorts of treatments like laser. You can get let. <sighs> I'm not like, well, you can get late uh, laser, you can get filler, you can get Botox, um, you can get chemical peels, I believe, just like different kinds of skin treatments as well, plasmas and whatnot. So maybe she was doing something a little bit more along those lines, which is why her only attempt to hide her face was this and a hoodie. Um, but nonetheless, I did think that that was a rather interesting story to share with you guys. I don't know, Kim, please, please, please don't go too far. Don't take it too far. Don't turn into the cat woman because this already, this face card is not declining anytime soon. Don't turn it into a face card that will decline, you know, because sometimes these girls, they go from being super beautiful to just super stretched out and just like weird and fake looking. Um, and I think she's already creeping into that territory already. You know, there's a girl here in France. She's this, uh, she was an influencer that she became a reality TV star. And I will tell you, she was one of the most beautiful girls I had ever seen. And every time she would go on TV shows like Touche Pas Mon Bus, everyone would just look at her and tell her, you are so beautiful. You're one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen. And it is so true. But then one day she just started getting fillers like in her cheeks and then in her chin. And it's all so obvious. Like she didn't, uh, she didn't admit to getting this work down, but like anyone with the eyes could see that this stuff is starting to get really stuffed. And so now she's still pretty like, eh, but like not like she was before. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like, it's just an uncomfortable kind of look like here in the middle face and then in the lower face as well. And I'm like, why did you do it? You were so damn beautiful. Like she was stunning, gorgeous, perfect, incredible. If you want to look her up, her name is Aissa Moments, A-I-S-S-A -S -S Moments. I feel bad for putting her on blast like that, but seriously, she's so beautiful. I had like a huge girl crush on her when I first like, you know, saw her on TV and whatnot. I thought she was like just absolutely stunning. So just to see what's happened now, I'm like, oh, but here's the thing. This, these, these are fillers. So 
there still is a chance that the stuff can dissolve, right? I'm looking at a picture of Kylie because Kylie had that era too where, remember, Kylie Jenner is super young. She's in her 20s, but she had an era where she looked like a 45-year-old woman, right? Like she just had too much stuff going on in her face. Her cheeks looked ridiculous. Her lips looked even more ridiculous. Um, and so she since has had some stuff dissolved or kind of let it fade out on its own. So I do think that Aisa still has um, the opportunity to do that. And, um, you know, maybe Kim too, if she she ever feels like she has overstuffed her face or anything like that. It's just the plastic surgery stuff that's a little bit more complicated sometimes, but I digress. Anyway, how do you feel about Kim popping up at a plastic surgeon's office, you guys? Trying to hide her face. Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions on the situation in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.